Hey everyone, this is 12 News meteorologist Stephen Matragrano here with your Weather Now update on this chilly Monday, but it's not too bad. Sun's shining, the winds are gusty though, but here's a look outside in Newport. Again, not looking all too bad. Temperatures on the chilly side, but we've been seeing a dry day with bright skies and uh, it's definitely a seasonable day. One more check. Let's take a look outside at the capital city. Again, looking good. We're looking at uh, quiet conditions to continue for the rest of today. Temperatures right now in the upper 30s to near 40. Providence checking in at 39. Newport, 38. And down in Westerly, 41. So uh, that's kind of going to be the theme, not only for the rest of today, but also for the next couple of days with our high temperatures uh, being right around 40 degrees through at least Wednesday. Wind chills, though, right now. Uh, they're making it feel colder out there. We're looking, you know, it feels like temperatures in the upper 20s to the low 30s, and that's because we have a gusty northwest wind. You can see those wind gusts currently, you know, 20 to 25 miles per hour. Earlier, we were gusting upwards of about 30 miles per hour, so it's again gusty, making it feel colder out there on this Monday. So, for tonight's forecast, in the near term, temperatures getting back below freezing to the upper 20s, clear, brisk, cold, a chilly start for your Tuesday morning commute. Winds northwest around 10 to 15, even 20 miles per hour at times. So again, it's going to make it feel even colder than that 27 that you see on your screen. Tomorrow's forecast for Tuesday, sunny skies, pretty much a repeat of today. Winds won't be as strong, though, so our temperatures near 40, just like today. But it'll be sunny and chilly, and those winds will be a little bit lower, so it won't feel nearly as cold, but it'll still feel a little bit uh, cooler uh, out there. So the big picture going forward, this is going through the rest of this week for temperatures. These are temperatures going through uh, mid to late week. We stopped it here Thursday afternoon. Notice there's that pink shading that's pretty much been sitting there over the north, uh, northern part of the country pretty much all week long. So that cold air, or at least a piece of it, is on its way to southern New England. But it's not going to get here until Christmas Eve and Christmas Day. So it's going to take its sweet time uh, getting here. And in the meantime, you know, we're dry and quiet through midweek. But then as we go into the latter part of the week, we have a storm system that'll be impacting us, and I'll show you that in just a second. Now, let's go through here with the temperatures, though. Notice on Friday afternoon, 55 degrees here. It's a mild end to the work week, and that's because we're actually on the warmer side of a system, a storm system that'll be impacting a good chunk of the country. Let's actually go to the next one and show you that here. This is Thursday's forecast, so we jumped ahead a few days. Again, our weather is quiet through midweek, but we jumped ahead to the end of the week. This is what we're tracking. Uh, we're going to be on the warmer side, it looks like, for this system. So we're looking at rain, 1 to 3 inches possible, gusts 50 to 60 miles per hour, especially later Friday into Friday night and even into Saturday as well. Travel impacts likely. Of course, it's a big travel week ahead of the holiday, and this system will be bringing some uh, snow to the Midwest and Great Lakes region as well. So let's go forward in time here and track this system uh, through. And you can see, again, rain for us here in southern New England all the way through the system, actually. Then the cold air works its way in uh, for la later on Friday into Saturday morning. And uh, that cold air continues to come in through the rest of the holiday weekend and into early next week. So a week from today, basically. Uh, so that's what we're tracking. And, you know, of course, things can always change. But uh, computer guidance is starting to kind of hone in on this solution that, that will be on the warmer side of the system uh, by the end of the week. So that is what we're tracking going forward. Of course, like I've been saying, uh, in the near term, weather's quiet or just a little bit chilly out there. Uh, good friendly traveling now through Wednesday, even a good chunk of Thursday. And then we're, of course, watching that system for Friday into Saturday. So thank you for tuning in and have a great rest of your Monday.